We're given S sub 1 is equal to square root of 2. S sub n plus 1 is equal to square root of 2 plus S sub n. Let's show that the sequence S sub n is monotonically increasing. Well, first, we're going to do this by induction. And our base case will be when n equals 1. So we're going to plug in n equals 1 here. And we get S sub 2, which is the square root of 2 plus S sub 1, which is square root of 2. Clearly, square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is greater than the square root of 2, which means that s sub 2 is greater than or equal to s sub 1. Now we're going to assume that this holds for n equals k. So our inductive hypothesis means that s sub k plus 1 is greater than or equal to s sub k. So that's what we're assuming. Now we're going to consider k plus 1. So we're going to replace n here with k plus 1. So we have s sub k plus 2. That's going to equal the square root of 2 plus the square root of s of k plus 1. And then we compare that with s of k plus 1 here, which is the square root of 2 plus the square root of s of k. We know that uh, s of k plus 1 is greater than or equal to s of k. So if I take the square root of both sides, that still holds. Because here, s of k is going to be positive, because you're just taking the square root of positive numbers. So you don't have to worry about taking a square root of a negative. Now we can add 2 to both sides. And then we can take the square root of both sides. So that works. So that. So this is true, s of k plus 2 greater than or equal to s of k plus 1. And it's kind of like you're starting with the inductive hypothesis here and then just working towards uh, getting this inequality. So that completes uh, that proof. So next we're going to prove that s of n is less than or equal to 2. Again, we're going to use induction. Let n equal 1. So here technically... Um, I should say n equals 0 because if I plug in n equals 0, we have s sub 0 plus 1. That's just square root of 2, which is obviously less than 2. Now we assume that this holds for n equals k. That's going to be our inductive hypothesis that s of k plus 1 is less than or equal to 2. Consider k plus 2. So that's going to be the square root of 2 plus the square root of s of k plus 1, which we know that this is less than or equal to 2. So basically just plug it in there. And we know that this is uh, square root of 2 plus 2 is equal to 2. And so that finishes the, that proof. Now we want to find, that the limit, find the limit of the sequence. So basically take the limit of both sides of this. Here, we're assuming that the limit exists, so we'll say the limit is L. So taking the limit here is L, and then limit here also. I guess here you should use a property. Technically, you should say, okay, this is the square root of the limit as n approaches infinity of 2 plus S sub n, which is just square root of 2 plus L. So that's what I have there. Square both sides, do some work. Uh, basically bring everything to the left here factor it l minus 2 times l plus 1 set both factors to go to 0 you get l equals 2 l equals negative 1 but here you're taking the square root of 2 plus you know a bunch of square roots so you're taking square roots and adding positive numbers which means your limit has to be positive in fact the limit is 2